Hello and welcome to Back to A Bit. Today I'm going to play a game on the Spectrum, this time Mr. Wong's Loopy Laundry. So this is my own puzzle cassette, it's a game written back in 1984 by Arctic Computer. Uh, they did produce quite a few uh, adventure games back in the day, some of my favourite adventure games. Uh, but this is their uh, arcade game I would like to have a, a go at. I do remember playing it back uh, probably, uh, what, 20, well, 38 years ago. I uh, haven't really played it since, it's still, so let's see if I can still play this game. Okay, let's uh, select joystick mode. Make sure my controller still works with this. And hopefully I can still remember to play it. Let's just uh, have one go at it. I might crash or burn. Now the idea is to uh, go and collect all the uh, items of clothing and send it down the chute to the laundry basket. It's as simple as that. And you've got to go around avoiding all the uh, enemies that are going around at the moment and there is a fire button you can use as well that you can release some starch at the enemy as well it does very much remind me of uh, burger time <laughs> really where the maze works and uh, how you go around avoiding the enemies in exactly the same way so maybe it's a, a toss up between burger time and uh, a bit of chucky egg all thrown into the same mix anyway that's a couple of items of clothing done i'm gonna make sure i don't trap myself because there are two baddies moving around the screen at the same time it's quite a slow paced game i know you can't even get down to the bottom part of that screen where you can see the washing machine whirling around and the clothesline there oh yeah i um, need to trap myself there my starch worked i'm quite surprised you don't see the uh, items of clothes appear on the washing line underneath i thought that could be a oh that's uh, that caught me out i thought i would miss that uh, collision zone then going down the ladder but uh, no yeah as i was saying i think it'd be nice if uh, you could see the washing appear on the washing line below as you drop it down the chute rather than just seeing all f five items already there i think that would have been a quite nice little gimmick he could have done again that's a bit close i think you just gotta go slow and steady on this game and not to rush it through and to to make sure you avoid all the enemies you only have a certain amount of starch to use so you can't just keep blasting your way uh, through it very similar to again the burger time routine i hope oh no he's come back again i was hopefully I could have gone through him over the starch last a bit longer this is my last piece of clothing and there we go level one done and I think the game just loops is exactly the same maze each time you play it. I think level two, you can see three enemies this time. So it does ramp up the difficulty as you move up the la uh, up the levels. I do wonder if you get four enemies if you get past this screen. But uh, I'm not holding much hope. I will do my best to see if I can get to level three. Two pieces of starch left, so I've got to be really careful with this. I think you get an extra life as well each level you go up because I'd, I have gone back to four lives again. No, I've got no choice. I've got to use starch. I've only got one left. I've got to be really careful now. It's a lot more difficult avoiding three obstacles. Yeah. 
and you can only carry one item at a time. This makes sense. It'd be too easy otherwise. No, that was gonna, that was gonna get me. Down to three lives. One starch left. Oh, there's another starch appeared there. There's a pickup there by the looks of it. So if I can pick him up, I can get an extra piece of starch. And you know what? I've got none left at the moment, so uh, I really do need it. There we go. Oh, actually, he's given me five pieces of starch. I was only expecting to have one extra one there. Oh, that's really helpful. Oh, what happened there? I shot my starch then. He didn't uh, freeze him. That's odd. Okay, one item of clothing left to get. Yeah, I've got to use my starch there. I've got three left. Come on, I can do this. I can get past level two. Yeah, level three. Now, how many enemies do I get now? Is it four? No, it's still only three enemies. Are they moving quicker? No, I think they're moving the same speed as me. Maybe they're just going to ramp up the difficulty on trapping me this time. No, that was a bad move. I did press fire, but obviously not quick enough. I've only got one life left and two pieces of starch. It'll be interesting to see what level four entails or whether you do get a fourth enemy on the screen. But I don't think I'm going to get there. It does feel a little bit more difficult. I think the ladders are all in different locations, aren't they, really, on each screen as well. So the screens are not totally identical to the layout. Space. Right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh, I'm trapped. Oh, he's a bit too close behind me. I don't think I'm going to get down there in time. No, no, I'm gone. Well, okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll be back very soon. Take care. Goodbye.